it's it's got a good hook, you know. It's yeah, yeah, it has that kind of that, yeah. that tropical kind of. That. And she does something. Don't they do a little something with her voice? She has auto tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I, you know, I, I think it's a good. I have nothing against a good teeny bopper pop song. Hello. The metal. Yeah. Right, I got everything all lined up here. Like it? Okay. <laughs> She was, Mom, I saw on Twitter, Miley was tweeting, she was sick. Oh my God, you <coughs> All right, we're going, Mike's going on. The new mix, 107.9, 80s, 90s now, Colby Calais, 842, I'm Mark Dancer. The mix flick chick is in the studio, Kelly Gingery, because it's Tuesday, and that's new DVD day. Good morning, uh -huh. Kelly. Good morning, Mark. So we got a couple of new ones to talk about. We do. And uh, they're kind of, eh. They're kind of, eh. Yeah? Meh. Nah. No uh, uh, Jack Black in a loincloth yeah. in, in year one, not mm -hmm. doing it, not no. doing it. Mm -mm. Jack Black in a fur loincloth, not my idea of a good okay. thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, some Jack Black can be funny, kind of, you know, just kind of silly fun. Yes, uh, yes. So year one. And is, Michael Cera. Yeah, He's I a like cute him. kid, you know, from Juno. Right. But it just, you know, it didn't do very well at the box office because I think all the good stuff was in the trailer. Yeah. Which happens many so times. It stretched like uh, three minutes into two hours and yeah. just sit. Uh, so I don't know if, I, unless you're really, really into that stuff and you really want to stretch for a laugh, I would say probably pass. Okay. All right. So uh, then the other one is My Life in Ruins. Yes. And I can't, I can't say her name. Okay. Here we go. Nia. Nia. Vardalos. Vardalos. <laughs> now you're Greek, honey. You're Greek. It's all Greek to me, baby. From uh, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, the movie that Tracy has seen more than any other movie of all time. And it's always on no matter what time of day it is. Yes, it is. And guess what? That is the number one grossing independent film. Oh, okay. That movie has made tons, but guess what? Poor thing, she can't have another hit. She can't duplicate it. So no. is this the deal? She's, uh, is this like a, along the same line? She's, you know, the star and the writer and the producer and... Actually, she's the star. She did not write this. Okay. Another guy wrote it. Actually, a guy who wrote it right, wrote the Simpson movie. Oh, the wow. The Simpsons. <laughs> but she did a little polish, they Everybody, call that. Critics not being too kind. To no. This. You know what? I think people like her. A little heavier, a little uh, dumpier. Oh, yeah. And she's, she's glammed, glammed up, up in yeah. this. But it, it's cute. It's romantic comedy fluff. It's very predictable. It's got a good cast. Richard Dreyfuss, Rachel Dratch from Saturday Night Live. But I think... Um, I, I want to see it. I'm going to see it. I didn't get the chance to see it in the theater because I wanted to, but I think it's cute. And, you know, sometimes Might you just... Might be worth a rental. Yes. Yeah. I think it's worth a rental. So. Okay. All sure. right. Well, the, the, the best pick, though, is probably, yes. finally, at long last, the entire series of... Ally McBeal! <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> it has been a long time. It, ha it was what's from... What's the hold up? Well, it was in 1997. That's a long time ago, yeah. honey. Nin it ran five seasons, 1997 to 2002. Music clearances. Yeah, they played they, a lot of music in there. They play tons of great music. Mm -hmm. Songs, you know, she'd have those crazy fantasy sequences. Yeah. The yep. Dancing, Dancing Baby. Baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they had guest stars. They had Al Green, oh, yeah. Tina Turner, wow. Barry White. Uh -huh. I mean, these guys came on the show, sang their songs. Well, you know, it takes a lot of moolah to clear the rights sure. to this after a while. And people have been waiting for this for a long time. They finally got all the music clearances, and so they're good to go. And the whole the whole series is out on DVD, or you can rent the season. Were you a fan of the show? Yes, I loved oh, okay. it. <laughs> Look at me, I'm crazy. Yes. <laughs> you know what? It was a comedy. It was a drama. Uh -huh. It had a great cast. You know, nobody had ever heard of Callista Flockhart. Right. That's quite a name. Right. But you know, Portia de Rossi, Lucy yes. Liu. Uh -huh. um, it just had. Robert a... Downey Jr. did a stint as a boyfriend. Yes, he did. So did yes. John Bon Jovi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? It was a big deal back then. It was a groundbreaking it was, show. It was a groundbreaking yeah. show, and people wanted to be on that. Yeah, now you who's know? the girl on 30 Rock? She was on there as well, wasn't oh, she? Oh, oh, yeah, Jane Krakowski. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so, wow. and and it just was fun, and so if you want to go back and see something kind of retro, I mean, you know what had the male-female unisex bathroom? Oh, that's right. You know, you got one at the station, don't you? Have one <laughs> yeah, here? A yeah, lock right. on the door, and it's individual. <laughs> Right. <laughs> we're going to get that. Okay. Well, so thanks, some fun, Kelly. Fun All right. Stuff. We podcast the Mixed Chick Flicks movie reviews, so you can check them out anytime. We send her to all the hottest movies. In fact, Friday morning, you'll be able to tell us about Couples Retreats. That's right. Vince Vaughn, baby. Vince Vaughn and Jason Bateman. Okay. Thanks, Kelly. You're welcome, Mark. It's 846, the new Mix 1079 with the Black Crows. How many minutes? Just under four. Oh, just under four. Okay. That's good. Good. Very good. And we got good information out. I like it. I like it. We like it.